Good evening, I'm Justin Betty. While students all across the country have been in and out of their physical classrooms this year, while schools look for ways to protect them during the pandemic, high school students in Wausau have not been in class full time at all this school year. There has been no full time in person option. But that will change soon as the Wassa School Board voted five to four last night to return secondary students to the classroom four days a week starting March 1st. News Watch 12's Georgina Fernandez has details. Classes back in session, this time in person for students at Wassa School District. Families who have chosen 100% virtual have had that choice. To this point, our students who are in person have not yet had the choice to be in person four days a week at the secondary level. So we'd like to provide them with that choice. The group that... Monday night, the board voted five to four to pass project relaunch, ending a battle since July for those pushing for reopening. Speakers taking note on the increase of failing grades from last school year. Last year, as sixth graders, that cohort group had 15 students with Fs at the semester. This year, as seventh graders, that cohort group has 103. And the hope of vaccinating teachers soon, the push to return to in person now stronger than before. DHS says their goal is to start vaccinating educators on March 1st, the same day WASA plans to welcome students back. But health officials warn that vaccine isn't a cure. What we don't know yet and what's being studied is people who get the vaccine may still be able to grow the virus in their nasal pharynx and spread it to other people. Board members opposed say they could be putting students at a further risk due to long-term effects of COVID. I fear that if we bring our kids back and put them together in such close setting that we are going to be setting them up for tragedy later on in life. And with a lower distribution rate, March 1st might not be the date most teachers in Wasa even see a vaccine. Marathon County Health Department reported last week that the state was only able to provide 27% of requested vaccines, potentially leading educators to return to work in person without a vaccine. In Wausau, Georgie Fernandez, News Watch 12. A church group in Vilas County is making sure students still have something to eat even when they're not in school. Volunteers from Soar Charter High School in Eagle River gather at Prince of Peace Lutheran Church every week to pack the backpacks for their weekend backpack program. They say it allows students in need to get some meals to just make it through the days they're not in school. They learn about food insecurity and what it means um, to the empathy. They show more empathy towards their fellow students and it helps take out the stigma of food insecurity. Right now, the program serves Northland Pines and Lando Lakes Elementary Schools, but recently they announced they are partnering with Feed Our Rural Kids, or FORK, to expand into the Phelps schools as well. We're super excited with the Weekend Backpack Program to be coordinating with FORK and uh, the Northland Pines School District um, and a Phelps School District on expanding this opportunity to students at Phelps. You can check with your local city's school district to see what programs are available to you. Right outside of it has been very cold lately. Yeah, this is rare, even for northern Wisconsin. Low temperatures down near 35 below in Lando Lakes this morning, 28 below in Eagle Rivers. We'll do this again tonight with low temperatures near 25 or 30 below. Uh, but there are some teens back in the forecast a few days from now. Outside right now, though, nope, no teens for you. It's two in Rhinelander, four, Leona, three, or Provida. We'll have low temperatures tonight down near 20 below once again. Thus, a wind chill advisory for all of us. We're getting used to this. This is basically take it easy out there with feel temperatures near 30 below tonight into midday tomorrow and then beyond that we start seeing some improvement after we get colder on saturday those are teens back in the forecast on monday your full forecast is coming up justin all right thanks jeff over a million doses of covid 19 vaccine have now been allocated by the federal government to wisconsin and the va enrolled veterans in the northwoods can now schedule appointments to get their shots be better hurry if you're interested the window to make an appointment is only open from 3 until 7 today. The clinics are open to any veteran who is enrolled and participating in VA services. There will be vaccine clinics set up at the VA facilities in Marquette and Iron Mountain, Michigan in the UP, as well as in Rhinelander. The vaccine clinic in Iron Mountain will be two days, February 13th and 15th. The ones in Rhinelander and Marquette will be on February 15th only.
Plover police have now identified the person who was killed in a shooting yesterday. They say 28-year-old Zachary Deo of Stevens Point was shot in a trailer on the 3100 block of Wisconsin Avenue. That's right near the intersection of 54 and Business 51. Police say Deo was not a guest of the people who lived there, but they haven't provided any other information about what he was doing there. They believe the shooting to be an isolated incident. UW Health's transplant clinic in Madison has received a $10 million donation from the creator of the American Girl doll, 79-year-old Pleasant Rowland, who lives in Dane County. Health leaders say the new facility will allow all transplants to be done in one central location. And it turns out that the clinic areas for our heart and lung are different than our abdominal organ transplants. And with the new facility, it will allow all of transplant to be in one central location. Kaufman also says he is inspired by Rowland for helping others in the community, something he says they both have in common. She really seemed to embrace big ideas and to make a real important impact with her gift. And she's one remarkable woman in many, many many, many ways. UW Health officials say they plan to have this clinic up and running by late 2022 next year. Semco Doors and Windows operated in Merrill for decades before abruptly closing their doors late in 2019. A letter dated December 30th of that year said the company would be closed the next day, December 31st. An investigation from the Department of Workforce Development found Semco violated state law by not giving employees enough notice. Now Attorney General Josh Call has filed suit seeking almost $700,000 for the 140 employees who were let go without much notice. The Department of Workforce Development investigates and uh, often comes to a resolution, but in this case, there was no resolution available. So our office has uh, brought an action to, to seek to recover those funds. The state alleges Semco's violations cost employees wages and benefits owed to them during the 60 days they should have known before the company closed. When a company suddenly closes like this, it leaves working families without uh, certainty and without time to plan, to adjust, to apply for new jobs, to get their health insurance in line. Uh, and this one happened uh, just before New Year's as well, so it happened uh, during the holiday season. Call hopes the suit moves quickly in order to help those employees affected. The Department of Workforce Development did send a job training resources in January of 2020 to help in the immediate aftermath of that closing. Today is National Pizza Day, and one Northwoods pizza shop has plenty to celebrate considering they opened during the pandemic. Smiley's Pizza in Lake Tomahawk serves takeout flatbread style pizza and some other foods. They say even though this was a tough year, the summer tourism season really helped them out. Since the beginning, we started at about 20, 30 pizzas and then right away after everybody started trying it, we got up to 70, 60, 80 pizzas. Smiley's Pizza uses fresh local ingredients, comes with a new specialty pizza weekly, trying to put a new twist on some traditional favorites. It's takeout pizza, and with the pandemic and everything going on, if you really want to be non-contact, we have a convenient drive through that we can hand the pizza through an opening window, and uh, you don't even have to come in the building. Smiley's Pizza is open Friday to Sunday for takeout only. The bitter cold is a major problem for many experiencing homelessness across the country, including here in the Northwoods. One Northwoods coffee shop is doing their part, trying to raise some money to help keep people warm. We'll have more on that in a few minutes. But first, Jeff's in with your full forecast, including those still very cold temperatures. That's next on Newswatch 12 at 6. Come to the Carpet City Flooring Center Super Sale and get free carpet installation. That's right, free carpet installation for one room or the whole house. Living room, free carpet installation. Whole basement, free carpet installation. Entire house, free carpet installation. Request your free estimate at CarpetCityWI.com today and get free carpet installation. Carpet City, our prices will blow. Menards is your one-stop shop for all of your painting needs. We've got you covered. 
for every step along the way. Choose the paint you need and get it tinted to any color to match your unique style. Don't forget the tools to get the job done right, from applicators to tapes. Right now, check out all of our paint and wall covering options and save today on everything for your next project at Menards. Save big money at Menards. How to change the way you pizza. Step one, grab a delicious Papa Murphy's pizza. Step two, bake. Step three, chow down on the deliciousness. Right now, get the classic Italian for just $11. Papa Murphy's. Whether it's for work or play, you want a truck. A truck that'll get the job done right. We have them all. Half-ton trucks, Power Strokes, Cummins, Duramax, SUVs. Over 800 to choose from. Know that all Lens trucks are fully inspected, certified clean, can be purchased online, and can be delivered right to your door. It's our way of saying thanks to our past and future customers for the last 35 years. Go now to LensTruck.com. Lens Truck. Season after season, customers have found that when it comes to replacing their windows, there's only one company to call. Renewal by Anderson. Call today to schedule your free window diagnosis because this incredible offer is only available for a limited time. Renewal by Anderson. The better way to a better window. There you are. Welcome back, my friends. Well, the sunshine looked good from inside today. Lots of it all day long with temperatures near four or five for highs again today. A very wintry scene out there again. However, there are teens back in the forecast for us next week. So we'll say goodbye to temperatures like this eventually. Uh, just not quite yet. Uh, it's two at the airport in Rhinelander in the northwest breeze at 10, making it feel like 14 below. We're getting used to that. Over in Wausau, four for you. Congratulations to southwest breeze at eight making it feel like nine below and around the horn all of us are cold as you know uh, pretty much temperatures hanging out near four or five even six degrees today across parts of central wisconsin tomorrow same story uh, a little reinforcing shot of cold air will get in here on saturday that'll likely hold temperatures back near zero or below zero again saturday before like i said teens are back in the forecast on monday okay so this is a wind chill advisory get used to these again uh, this is for feel like temperatures or wind Wind chills on your face of about 30 to 40 below zero again tomorrow morning into probably Thursday or Friday as well. Uh, so this is the government saying, hey, take it easy out there. You can get frostbite in less than 30 minutes with temperatures like this. Uh, you need to cover from that. Uh, but we're not alone. We have lots of friends. All of us are cold across the Midwest right now and the Great Lakes and even the south here. Look at Dallas, 32. It's 19 in Oklahoma City. They don't know what to do with that. They're all confused down there right now. Uh, and they're going to get even colder tomorrow. In fact, high temperatures across the south, not getting above freezing probably till Monday or Tuesday of next week. For us, though, we're used to that, right? Four and uh, tomorrow, five on Thursday, two on Friday. And there's that little reinforcing shot of cold air, but who cares, right? Uh, two on Sunday. Then look at that, 14 and 16, Monday to Tuesday of next week. Not a heat wave, but it's going to feel like it with temperatures back in the teens next week. Okay, lots of clear skies out there again today. After a few clouds earlier, those are now gone. You know what that means. Snowpack, clear skies, light wind this time of year, Arctic air. We'll have very cold temperatures tonight. Uh, but the bigger story is the storm track has shifted on us again. The high pressure over us right now is just so heavy and so dense. It's hard to push it out of the way and there's nothing that's going to do that anytime soon until probably uh, Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. Until then, this high is going to combine with that high and that high uh, to kind of hang out for a while. We have a little party over us. Uh, meanwhile, these systems are here going to cross to our south again. Uh, this one here could be just close enough tomorrow to trigger a couple light snow flurries. Adams County, Portage County late tomorrow night into the day on Thursday. Our forecast over tonight though is mostly clear skies. It's just cold. You know that low temperatures down near 20 below with feel light -like temperatures near 30 below and a west wind around 5 to 10 for tomorrow. It's Wednesday already. All right, so lots of sunshine. So just like today with high temperatures near four, just like today and feel like temperatures near 30 below. See what I'm doing here, right? Uh, that Northwest breeze around 10 to 15. Team. And then looking ahead, your seven day forecast by Northwoods Furniture and Mattress shows a lack of precipitation. Uh, that's turning to be a problem now, right? Uh, there's Valentine's Day, high temperatures near two with lots of sunshine. And those are teens back in the forecast Monday to Tuesday of next week. Justin. Thanks, Jeff. The eviction moratorium that's in place because of the financial hardships brought on because of the pandemic may help prevent a sudden climb in people experiencing homelessness, but it won't help those already out in
in the cold. Nath, the Northwoods Alliance Temporary Housing, operates Frederick Place in Rhinelander, one of the only homeless shelters in the region. COVID-19 hit their fundraising efforts hard, so manager of Northern Grounds Coffee House, Liz Cirilli, says they came up with a plan to help. For the month of February, we're holding a fundraiser surrounding one of our drinks called The Haven. It's going to be one of our Lotus Energy drinks, and a portion of our proceeds will go toward the Nath Frederick Place in Rhinelander. Yeah, the blue raspberry cotton candy flavored drink will help fund the shelter's general operation. Shirley says, if The Haven's blue drink isn't really your thing, there are other ways you can help. I mean, if you if you want to be able to donate to the cause and you don't care to drink a Lotus drink, you're more than welcome to make a cash donation at the drive through as well. Otherwise, you can go to NathNorthwoods.com and donate directly to the organization online. The Haven Drink Fundraiser runs through the end of February. Surly says the event is part of Northern Ground's commitment to support a community that has supported them. Well, if you love bowling and soup, we have an event for you. The Flying Fin on Route 47, just outside Rhinelander, is hosting a turkey bowling and soup cook on Saturday, February 20th. Organizers say the bowling will take place from 11 till 2, the soup cook from 2 to 3. Prizes will be available for both. You can sign up in three-person teams for $30 at the Flying Fin. The turkey meat used in the bowling will be donated to local wildlife sanctuaries. Maybe February, but one Northwoods brewery is still feeling the political spirit. Uh, and well, now we're showing you how that spirit is spreading outside Northwoods as well. Well, more after the break. The President's Sale at Slumberland. Come on. Slumberland Furniture has the best prices around, and right now everything is an additional 25% off. Well, hello Slumberland. Get your look for less at the huge President's Sale at Slumberland. Creative Kitchen and Bath Studio has designed beautiful and functional kitchens and baths in the Northwoods. With in-home consultation available, they provide 3D drawings of your spaces to bring your visions to life. Owner and designer Sarah has over 20 years of experience, overseen 500 plus projects, and built strong relationships with local contractors providing superior installation. Whether it's a new home or a remodel, Creative Kitchen and Bath Studio in Eagle River looks forward to making your dream kitchen or bath a reality. It's time for the Great American Sales Event at your local Ford store. To celebrate, we're offering 1,000 President's Day cash on top of other offers on Ford F-150. With deals on America's workhorse, now's a great time to buy. Hurry in or shop online before February 15th. For a limited time, get 1,000 President's Day cash on a 2020 Ford F-150 for $7,250 in total value. Celebrate during the Great American Sales Event going on now. Maintenance fee, ATM fee... Can I hide in your fort? Sure, but the fort fee is 10 cookies. Psst. Need a place to hide from fees? With a BMO Harris Smart Advantage account, you can get cash with nearly as many fee-free ATMs in the U.S. as the three largest banks combined. And no monthly maintenance fee. Huh, do you hear that? No monthly maintenance fee. Fort fees are subject to the governing bodies of the fort. She did not learn that from me. When a bank helps you make real financial progress, that's the BMO effect. And right now, get a $200 bonus when you open a new BMO Harris Smart Advantage account. This company is not recognizing people of color. We need Simon. Retract everything. You want me? You are his supervisor. You know nothing about my experience. You're not alone in this. I feel very alone in this. My fiance right now is in labor. We're having twins. I need to get to her. I'm coming right now, okay? Please just get here, Kevin. He's thinking new mattress? She's thinking, well, a lot of things. It's okay. Get an extra 25% off our already low Slumberland price. The Sealy Posturepedic mattress on closeout for only $5.29. Our biggest sale of the year at Slumberland Furniture. Since November, the owner of Monaco Brewing Company, former Assembly candidate Kirk Bangstad, has started to sell political-themed beer. The progressive beer, as he calls it, is now moving its way across the state as well. Newswatch 12's Rachel Eiler explains. When we did Biden beer, it was kind of a joke. What he never expected to go so far is now going statewide. People started driving all the way from Milwaukee and Madison just to pick it up. 
owner of Minocqua Brewing Company, Kirk Bangstad, subtle intentions quickly turned into a political message that sold out within days. But he says it's not just about politics. Bankstad wants buyers to look at the bigger picture. Small businesses are being terribly affected by COVID. What I want to do is band together with small businesses and, and be political in order to tell the world that small businesses, you know, are being left out in the cold. However, partnering with retailers came with its own challenges of pushback. Something Lac de Flambeau, Band of Lake Superior Chippewa Indians understood all too well. It hit home with us because being on the reservation, we've experienced some of the same type of discrimination. But I think that um, partnerships like this will help block that or put an end to that and really show that we have an awesome community. LDF County Market now holds exclusive rights as the only Northwoods carrier, looking to encourage others to keep supporting local businesses. My goal is not to attack. My goal is not to offend. My goal is to put pressure on uh, on politicians and businesses to, to do the right thing and to care about America more than their own political interests. In Minocqua, Rachel Eiler, Newswatch 12. The most important thing in the Chevy Equinox is not forward collision alert or automatic emergency braking. No, the most important thing in the Equinox isn't any of the advanced safety features we've put into it. It's what you put into it. Chevy Safety Assist, standard on every 2021 Chevy Equinox. Get a $4,000 cash allowance on most 2021 Equinox models. Plus, current Chevy owners with an eligible GM credit card get an additional $1,750 total allowance. Chevrolet, the number one selling brand in Wisconsin. Perhaps your shower is outdated. Maybe your tub is hard to step over and you're thinking about converting to a shower. Hi, I'm Bella Friday, joined by Brian Gottlieb, and today we are talking about the Jacuzzi Bath Remodel System. Now, many people have a hard time stepping over a tub, but you can help them with that, correct? Yeah, we sure can, Bella. You're right. For some people, stepping over a bathtub is really difficult. But what's really popular right now is we can take that bathtub out and we can install a jacuzzi bathroom model system, a, a low-entry shower that's, that's a lot easier to get in and out for people rather than stepping over a bathtub. What's also nice is we can accessorize it with uh, maybe a seat in the shower system or a, or a well-placed grab shelf. And what a grab shelf is, it's a functional grab shelf where you can put soap and and your washcloth but you can also hang on to it it's really cool and what makes the jacuzzi shower system so special right the word system is an important word uh, everything you see here is a jacuzzi shower system it's made by jacuzzi you see normally when a contractor wants to remodel the bathroom uh, they have to go to a big box store to get a a part, then they have to go somewhere else to get a shower pan, they have to go somewhere else to get a wall, and you try to fit all those things together, it doesn't always work out so well. The Jacuzzi shower system is a showering system, all made by Jacuzzi, so that uh, folks can have the, sh the bath or shower that's absolutely awesome for them. And how does someone go about choosing the right design for their home? Yeah, it all starts with our design services, which is really fun because we have a professional come to people's homes, and they can bring hardware and color samples and wall samples. People get to design the shower or bath system of their dream in the comfort of their home. It's super cool. And how long does an actual installation take? Because this is all these folks do, uh, the vast majority of jobs are done in as little as a day. And now is the best time to get a new shower. Yeah, it sure is, Bella. Right now what we're doing is we're waiving all the installation costs on your new bath or shower system, plus we're postponing all of your payments for 12 full months. There's never been a better time to get a new bath or shower. Call the number on your screen and start saving today. Hi, I'm Jenna with Miracle Ear of Park Falls in Medford. If you are struggling to hear your favorite news and entertainment shows, come and see me for your free hearing test. Some of our food may soon be printed instead of grown. Yep, Israeli company Aleph Farms, with the help of the Israeli Institute of Technology, has created the first 3D printed ribeye steak. See it here. <laughs> company says they use 3D bioprinting technology to cultivate cow cells, which they then grow, differentiate, and interact to create the texture and quality of a real steak, similar to what they say naturally occurs in animal tissues. 
Ugh. You don't look so well all of a sudden, Well, Jeff. we had several food stories today. I was getting hungry, and then that just happened. What's with that? <laughs> all right, let's go outside now. We can freeze that oh. steak today, right? It's two out there in Rhinelander right now. Zero already in Medford. Five in points. So, yeah, we're going to have low temperatures this evening. Down near 20 or 30 below, just like last night. We're getting used to this stuff by now. Uh, already a winter advisory for tonight into tomorrow. This is for feel-like temperatures near 30 below, so your skin can freeze quickly in that. Uh, so be careful. And then looking ahead, your seven day includes lots of sunshine. Also a few flurries tomorrow evening. And then there's Valentine's Day with a high temperature of two. It gives you an excuse to cuddle, I suppose. <laughs> it's going to be cold. <laughs> All right, thanks, Jeff. Thank you for joining us on Newswatch 12 at 6. Wheel of Fortunes next. See you back here tonight at 10 with more.